Hey guys, Toast here. So, um, Revenge earlier made a video about Crit Strike, um, and it made me want to look into it a little bit since I hadn't done Golem yet. Um, I did Golem after, and this here is my normal Golem march that I've been using more or less forever. Um, it sends a mixed tier of all troops um, using a calculator that I've found before that someone made. That's not me, um, but anyways, um, I've been using that, and it does. Okay, for my stats, so you can see here I did um, 2.9 million or whatever that is. Yeah, 2.9. Um, so this is my normal march doing its normal thing. I only have a 1.5% crit chance, so my crit is extremely low um, because I focused on getting march because I understand march. I don't understand crit, therefore I, you know, focus my efforts on what I understand. So what we have... Let me just make sure I have them in the right order. Two, two, three, one, two, two, three, eight. Okay. So this is a march with just six troop types. I did basically 70k of six troops. Obviously, the last one is a little bit less since I didn't quite have 420,000 uh, march capacity here. So you can see I went down from 2.9 to 2.26. And this is basically what made me want to experiment with this with Revenge. And he has the max crit. His damage actually went up. So I wanted to understand why it went up. Either that meant crit wasn't working the way it sounded like, or they revamped their formula. They revamped their formula, I should have gotten similar results. Obviously, this is not the most effective march. Um, I did experiment with some other marches, and all of them did worse for me. So no matter what I did, how I manipulated the march, um, I probably tried six, seven, eight things. Um, but none of them worked. They all did less damage than my normal. But I did do basically three attacks with this 70k um, setup. So this was the first one. So you can see it did 2.226 uh, million damage. This was the second one. It did 2.23 million damage. So it did a little bit less. And again, with my crit being only 1.5%, the odds of me critting and getting that little bit of extra damage is incredibly low. Um, so this lends me to believe um, that it's not an all or nothing. And then to confirm that, I did one more march. I took one less troop of my, I think it was T7 Bowman was the lowest I was sending. And then added in a T11 Cav. And you can see my damage went down. So this is a march that had seven troop types that was basically the same as the other one. And you can see the damage went down. So basically what this tells me is that crit is probably happening on a per troop basis. So like each and every individual troop that you're sending has a chance to crit. Um, so that's why even my 1.5% with 420,000 troops, that means I should still be getting, you know, was that 40, 60,000, something like that, or 6,000. Yeah, I think 6,000 makes more sense. Uh, so about 6,000 troops should have critted and therefore I did a little bit more damage and the damage was inconsistent because it's the nature of random. You're going to get a little bit more than 1.5 on one. You're going to get a little bit less than 1.5 on another. Just over time, it's going to average out. So, therefore, that means um, crit is going to become a very important stat. It's going to be kind of like a damage stat. If you have crit, you're going to be doing a lot more damage. If you don't have crit, you're going to be doing a lot less damage. But it's not the all or nothing that it sounded like initially which means that the crit is probably a more important investment to do than any of the other new research. Because if it is a more consistent, you know, 30 to 40%, if you actually max it out, um, then that's going to be a bigger boost than adding, you know, 25,000 to your march. Because um, you're basically increasing your damage by 30 to 40%. Whatever your crit chance is, is basically a boost of your damage by that percent um, compared to if you didn't have it. So that is my little bit of experiments with crit and kind of combined off of building off of the experiments that Revenge did. And basically my belief that I cannot confirm, um, just my belief based on the data that I've seen is that crit is working on a per troop basis, not on a all or nothing basis. And I think this also falls in line with most people who have, you know, spent the stones to get a good crit. They aren't seeing anything that like jumps out at them as being way better that says, oh, this is one that critted, it's just they're all consistently better now. Um, so anyways, that's my beliefs, my thoughts, what I've seen, the data I've collected. As always, if you have questions, ask in the comments. Otherwise, thank you for watching.